Hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, who welcome back to the channel. This week we don't have sadly a One Piece chapter, but we have Boku no Hero Academy. Sorry, I was just trying to fix the light because uh, better, but we do have Boku no Hero Academy. If I by any chance look a little bit rushed, it's because I am in a little bit of a rush. But I'm gonna try not to rush this. So, Boku no Hero Academy, chapter 142 of its name, Shield and Shield and Lance and Shield. If this is... If this is a... Just... If this is a combo of heroes or just an attack from a hero, we do not know. But, anyway. Oh, a color first page. Very nice. You consumed quite a bit of poison. It's not fatal. But you probably won't be able to walk for a while. Let me just do something here. Sorry about that. Um, lastly, I've removed your masks. Not like I know what they're for, though. That was way too much trouble. I hope everyone was able to move on without a hitch. I gotta keep going to... Is that a face? So did he fainted from tiredness or something else? This is that a face thought of his? <laughs> okay. Break through any wall, press onward. So we have a color cover as well with Deku and Kirishima, with Midori and Kirishima, underground labyrinth. Very nice. Okay, our senpai, I wonder if Tamaki is okay, I can't help but worry. <laughs> okay... The, tr the mark of a true man is the ability to, com to completely trust someone who's got your back. In that case, Tamaki is definitely okay. <laughs> Okay, so they just keep going and discussing about the marking. Okay, so the team is pretty much still complete, apart from Tamaki and Mirio. Okay. Along with Sun Eater, it's possibly it's possible that maybe his attention is focused over there. You're saying this range of control is limited? Makes sense, otherwise you could have just stopped them on their tracks right away. Oh, so that's the face... That's the face that Tamaki saw. Very cool. And to think he was able to stop them by himself. They may be trash, but the three of them have ability. I didn't expect that they all work together like that to get in our way. If only you all had cooperated obediently. Have they caught one of the precepts? No, it doesn't seem so. If we hadn't cooperated, the overhaul would have taken our lives in an instant. After he fell and became like that. Once our boss was a noble Yakuza. In today's world he was searching for a way for the Yakuza to live. The eight precepts are to be regarded as Yakuza, nor as villains. He resented the way they have been designated a villain organization. We were all devoted to the boss, but a boss who gives himself a fake villain name, who takes in on other villains, who uses the precepts for his own purposes, who does whatever he wants. As things are now... Okay. I... Are they talking to the boss as in the old man or is it in overhaul? This is a little bit confusing. You didn't think that he had been caught then? The ones who are crazy are the ones who don't think about the consequences of their actions. Those people, they, they are strong. Oh! Here comes the, the the manipulating guy trying to capture to 
capture um, Aizawa. Okay, so Fat Gum sacrifices himself to stay in Aizawa's place. <laughs> oh, and Kirishima is. <laughs> Kirishima comes along with him. Okay, so that's the shield part of it. Because Fat Gum is a shield and a shield. It's just a shield. But Kirishima, his square can work as both a lance and a shield. Very good. A fist, sorry if this smashes you to beats. Unbreakable. Okay. You know what I think? Fighting with guns and swords is boorish. Whoever gets one in their hands is able to win. That's not fighting. A true fight is when you just use the strength within you to kill, you understand me? Holy heck. He is a little bit trashed. So we have a 2v2. The two of you have quirks that excel at defense. Okay, that, that we know. Excel at defense, he's barely standing. Well, I guess I gotta give it to him for not turning into ground meat. Bullet like punches and the barrier ability. What a problematic combo. No, so. Okay, so who's the lens? Okay, okay. The combos. Okay, the combos between them, the 2v2 combos. The villains now have a shield, which is the, the guy who with the barrier manipulation, and the lens, that's the guy with the, with the, with the gunfire uh, fists. And they have a, a shield and shield. That doesn't make for a good fight, damn it. Then again, that young man over there can hardly be called a shield, it seems. Damn, it really cracked. Again, I'm going to... You've got to be unbreakable. If your spirit breaks too, then we're really done for. Let's crush this small fry. Yes, let's get back to everyone else. That's it. Fat Gum with some motivating speech for Kirishima going all out against the shield and lance. Let's prove it. After all, the best offense is often the best defense. So, with that in line, I do apologize, but really I must be getting going. After all, this chapter is really... I mean, it's really good. There's some things I could say more about it, but I don't think that anything that I could say would really add up to it. But we saw Kirishima about to break, something that was unexpected at least. He's not the kind of person that we thought, that at least I thought, could easily be broken, but there seems to be something in his past that once made, made, made him broke. Uh, not broke as in broke out of money, but you, under you understand my thought. So, this is it for Boku no Hero Academy, this is it for this week. Ah, uh, there is no One Piece video this week, sorry, I said I was trying to do a, a video on it. I still am, but the theory I undertook is proven to be quite complex in terms of research materials. I ha I'll have to delve in some research themes that I never thought I'd find myself in, but it's a good thing. I mean. Kinda ish. I mean, I like the thematic that I'm researching for. The source of the thematic, however, is something that I never really thought I'd mess with. You guys will see when the theory comes. I'll try to, I'll try to build it up as quick as I can, and I'll try to make it a good theory. If it turns out to be as I think it's going to turn out, it's going to be probably my best theory yet. Not the most valid, 
in terms of like possibility of happening because I am pretty sure that, that the theory has zero percent chance of happening but then again it's a theory and I will be really proud of it if I can make it the way I want to so be on the lookout for that next week we'll have new chapters for fairy tale the seven deadly sins one piece and Boku no Hero Academy and I'll see you guys next week please do have a fantastic weekend and also please do let me know your opinions about this video in the comment section down below. I'll see you then next week. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye bye.